We're back with uh, the binder full of EX Team Rocket Returns. A lot of people really love this set. Um, from what I've heard, it sounds like it's pretty underprinted. Um, so the, uh, the seal product is absolutely insanely expensive. The set itself is more expensive than everything around it. Um, also probably for that reason, along with the fact that uh, there's just some like really beautiful cards in here. Uh, gets back to the uh, the OG bad guys, Team Rocket, and uh, those dark Pokemon that uh, everyone remembers from back in the Watsi era. The reverse Deli Bird. So same thing with this set. Um, kind of been trying to pick up the reverses more than anything. I did pick up quite a few of the non hollows but still some giant gaps here. Um, there was a full set of reverses that were for sale and uh, kind of thought about it too long and they sold. But uh, I don't know, it, uh, it's probably more fun to gradually piece it together. Some really nice artwork in here. Feels like a little bit like the uh, the previous set with uh, fire red leaf green, um, but also kind of has its own little flavor with the uh, kind of a darker Team Rocket feel to it. Also, the uh, the Pokemon chosen are a little bit more on the uh, the Team Rocket <laughs> theme. Um, and now we're off of uh, Kanto only. We have a little bit of a more of a mix. Looks like a lot of uh, Gen 2 going on. Yeah, we get uh, some pretty bare pages here, so lots that uh, lots that can be picked up. Uh, that Rockets admin is ridiculously expensive. Got to blame all those uh, retro players making retro decks. Hoarding those. I know for sure that I'm missing most of the EXs from this set because they are also um, insanely expensive. We have an Entei here or an Entei. If he wants to uh, focus, he, he does not. Got some weird things going on with the lighting. For this one, what do we have here? Yeah, these are cool. Like the uh, this is a surprise time machine. Just the really weird Team Rocket gadgets that uh, that are featured in some of the artwork. And I think that's it. That's uh, we don't have very many cards from that set. Oh no, I guess we have a couple uh, variants at the back here. A uh, Dark Tyranitar Hollow and a I think it's a Hollow one from I think it's from the one of the theme decks so the regular card in the set is non hollow and this one's hollow and then the I don't know if it's the same must be from the same deck um, for one of the decks we have the uh, dark Marowak that's a non hollow version so I guess we're starting we're starting into that kind of stuff over the years the uh, the variants kind of changed um, in terms of what they did differently either with the, uh, the theme deck cards or different releases and stuff like that. So we'll uh, see a little bit more of that in the, in the later sets when they get into those cracked ice hollows and, and stuff like that that uh, I picked up quite a few of those and uh, usually stick them at the back of the binder um, as just kind of a little bonus to, to look at. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, what do we have next? EX uh, Deoxys. Um, I think I have quite a few in that one, but uh, we'll, f we'll find out next time.